Welcome back, sports gamers. It's the natural. We have a new Madden 20 title update for October. And typically, I show you guys gameplay or whatever, but let's just go right directly to it. I mean, and you can actually see uh, what they're talking about, and I kind of get my thoughts and feelings and get feedback from you in the community, what things are still broken, and then take that back to developers, and we can keep trying to make Madden a better game, the game that we all want. Uh, starting off the key highlights, Keenan Allen, who was much, uh, much aligned Keenan Allen, much maligned Keenan Allen, who was pissed off about his ratings and everything as the game when it was coming out. He has now been upgraded to a Superstar X Factor, deservedly so, because he has been killing it this year, just torching, like single-handedly kept the Chargers in games, been a total opposite, one of the most dominant receivers in the league, might, might have been the most dominant receiver in the league this year. So. He has been uh, replaced Antonio Brown, who was actually not on the team, and filing about 99 grievances against various teams that he's been cut by from his own foolishness. All right, so uh, Allen's equipped abilities, X-Factor, rack them up, wins contested, rack catches versus single coverage, when in the zone, and a superstar ability, slot Omatic. Um, that's fine. It would have been cool if they would have just gave him something um, a little bit different. Um, pretty much in and out elite is nice a lot of Maddox is neat. so I mean you know two two good ones no, no complaints but it'd be cool if they gave him someone that you know someone didn't uh, an ability someone didn't have already that would have been nice but that's fine now uh, that kind of definitely fits him um, the full on-field player controls been added for franchise players for QB1 um, the default set to off but we enable in league settings this allows player lock users to have more control over their experience behind the stick this is something that people have been complaining about for a while, especially uh, not having the control they want, the cameras that they want, and those type of modes. I personally don't play those type of offline modes like that, but they're very popular, so it's good that they, they rolled this out for offline games and cloud games against the CPU to kind of, you know, give more, um, you know, control the users, so that, that's always a good thing. Now, on some franchise uh, news stories updates, first portion of a complete revamp of the franchise news system more emphasis on big games between good teams, realistic reactions, interesting results from the week, Super Bowl matchup, and more news post per season. More updates like this are coming in future time. That's that is good to hear. Anytime I hear anything about franchise, I am on board. New game day stories and challenges been added for franchise users. So the scenario engine, we all know, it allows to add more unique game day challenges, rewards. It's been a little stale. I complained about that and put that out when I first got my hands on with franchise. But it, they're going to keep building upon that, adding new dynamic situations, rewards. That's going to be good. It has so much potential in the scenario engine, and I feel like a lot of it right now is wasted. But they continue to build upon that. That's really great news. Added functionality for generated rookies to earn and equip abilities in new and existing franchise leagues. The, the key there is existing franchise leagues because I don't know who haven't started their franchise league already and no one wants to restart their league to uh, get an update. So it's good that future updates, they try their best to get it for existing updates. I know a big challenge for that is the fact uh, they don't want to corrupt anyone's database uh, with that. So, um, you know, that that's that's a good thing that, you know, you have to be careful because you don't want to roll out an update. To up the existing franchise, corrupt everyone's database, and then you're gonna have a lot of pissed off people if their franchise doesn't work anymore and they're a few years in, especially online guys. Um, so this was missing and most notable when he lost off the line abilities in an early update. This is a follow-up to fixing that issue. Oh great. So the global updates, the general stability and connectivity improvements, likeness. I have a likeness video coming. Um, they added they updated several likenesses of players. Um, you guys seem to really like those likeness updates. Um, and let me know in the comments. Like, uh, you, what I typically uh, want to do, typically we do have the old version next to the updated one. Um, or do you guys like it more when I do the new one versus the real life player? Um, let, let me know what you know, what you guys prefer. But I definitely have a likeness update video coming for that. They got some uniform detail updates to. Uh, current classic uniforms for Vikings, Dolphins, Bills, Titans, Panthers, Eagles, and Browns. I, I might include that in the likeness update. Just throw that in there. Um, some stadium and field updates, updated home field end zones, stadium details, EA Madden logo on the practice stadium. They have a high volume of that. Actually, going to get with the equipment guru and get some more details on that. I might just do specific 
presentation video just for this type of stuff I am on the low on the low just for you guys I might be doing an equipment video supposedly there's some equipment that got snuck into this update um, so I, I might take a look at that I might be doing a little video on that I gotta get more information and it's, it's tough because if they don't put in the patch notes I literally have to go through and find where the equipment's at you know try to get screenshots for you guys all that it's a lot of work so something i'm working on kind of behind the scenes hopefully i can do another equipment video or i might just do a general equipment video and then one specifically for this update so stay tuned for that um franchise so franchise specifically let's switch over here and then uh we can take a look here added full on field control qb1 we talked about that and uh some bug fixes for a hidden yeah, so the issue with a hidden uh, dev trace snap count to reset. So that's actually, um, I think they like, that's fixed, but I think they like snuck that one in because I just noticed in my own franchise that uh, one of my rookies was no longer actually doing that. Like the hidden, that he was, the snap counts were actually getting uh, counted. So let's see, I'm trying to think who on the Browns would have, uh, what, maybe, uh, the cornerback was greedy. What do you have a hidden one? Yeah, so before that just kept resetting, but uh, in my own personal franchise, it actually stopped within the past week. It just it didn't reset anymore. They actually was starting to accumulate. So I think they snuck that one in, but this listed here as a fix. That was a big one people were really upset about in franchise. They added the X Factor database to view in franchise mode so you can see which superstars and superstar X Factors are in the league, allowing players to scout their competition before game day. That is really, really cool. See here, X Factor database. And then you can go here and you can see who is. Um, okay, I'm assuming you better shut the drop down. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Yeah, this is live. <laughs> it kicks me back out all right so that's something that uh, I guess to have to keep working on on that one. <laughs> oh my God. so that obviously that's not what that working but uh but it's there so I'm assuming how it's supposed to work is that we would go here and we would be able to see the little drop down with different teams like how we you do before the game starts it's part, I'm assuming it's the same the same one here and you can take a look at that so it's good that you have that ability to do that so um, added new league settings for minimum roster size. Let's take a look at that here. Uh, settings, league settings. So you can see two new things they added in. Full on field control. You control all your players on the team in super sim at any point. Similar to coach owner mode. So in, uh, before when you were playing single player or QB1, you couldn't do that yet. But now with that on, you have the ability to control more than just your player minimum roster size so you can set that um and they give you for multi-user leagues which, which mostly i play in 51 players uh, in season player movement limit you can set that term amount of players you can add or remove from their team so that's good you can kind of restrict that a little bit players overall cut restriction no restriction 60 overall so this is great because you would hate Especially when you start a new franchise and the CPU just starts cutting people on that automatically and I even give you a chance before someone hops in on the team. So this should uh, help with that to set that so they, that will not happen. Oh yeah, that's great. 99, that means they won't cut anybody. And the off-season player cut limit determines the amount of players the user may cut during each off-season stage. I like how they get little recommendations there for... I guess they got multi. I just say online CFM leagues, but multi-user leagues. So um, that's good. Um, uh, fix the issue, causing some formations to be flipped in the formation subs. I, I felt like all the formations were flipped in the formation subs. Like anyone ever do the formation subs in here? Because I always felt that's the way it was. Like it was always opposite of what it was in the game. Yeah, so whenever I went in here and subbed, like it was always, it's always been like that for me. Like if I wanted to put this player here, he would be on the other side in the game. So I would have to think and move him here if I wanted him to be in the right position. So I, I would have to test this one to make sure it's working. Because that's how I always kind of, it's always been backwards. Especially, I, I noticed them definitely in the defensive um, formation subs that players would be backwards of how you would thought they would be. So, 
All right, um, and so they fixed the issue preventing superstar ability from unlocking the players overall didn't match the criteria. Updated future Super Bowl stadiums in newly created leagues. They added about one, two, three, four. Uh, let me, yeah, it's fine. Fix the issue where user controlled players were retired and available in the free agent pool. There's a ton of fixes here. Let me flip back over so you guys can see that. Um, yeah, so all these teams, South Florida, Tampa, Los Angeles, Glendale, you know, but again, newly created, you know, not updated in current ones. So that kind of sucks. Hopefully they can get that into existing or it's going to be like, man, the new the next year is going to be like, don't start your leagues before week five. It's like keeps getting longer and longer. You have to wait to get all these updates. Increased XP rewards for boss battles. Uh, fixed issues causing bad text display when Jack Ford reached out for a Super Bowl game. Updated FSU coach fixed a typo. I don't care about typos. Uh, issue with causing overalls to in the front end to be wildly different from the overalls in franchise. I have seen this. Uh, they have different calculations for franchise mode versus um, just head to head regular standard roster. So, yeah, I, this wasn't a big issue because the, the ratings were still the same, but it was just the overall would be different. Uh, some text. See, fix the issue causing CPU teams using three four schemes to cut too many middle linebackers. Yeah, draft cast editor. Uh, oh, now this is good stuff here. So, game day stories, scenarios, breakout scenario arcs in franchise coach mode, breakout defensive tackle in franchise mode, playing as coach, a superstar defensive tackle, and a user team has a chance to become a superstar X Factor DT based upon in game. That is nice. They had this for linebacker, defensive back, line receiver, running back. This is great. And this is for uh, the QB1. Same thing, running back, receiver, running back. This is good to see. Now, I don't want guys out there going in their CFMs and cheesing it up, trying to break out, <laughs> you know, throwing 20 passes to one receiver. Don't be that guy, man. Don't be that guy. You, you don't want to be known as a guy. You, you don't, you don't want to be as the, you know, the X Factor cheeser. So new playoff content, win one for the veteran. Under certain circumstances, a coach mode, a team decides to rally around a veteran leader in the playoffs. Oh, I wonder what kind of, what do you get for that? Playoff clinch notification in coach mode, a team is notified when they clinch a playoff berth. Okay. Playoff decision, rest or momentum. Okay, we already have this one. Um, the user clinches a top spot in week 17. The user makes a choice between resting his team or preserving momentum going to the playoffs. Yeah, we have something similar to this already that happens in the season. You can kind of um, give them the, the, the day off, whatever, or and or play them. That's already a kind of existing one. Other new content, preseason QB mentor. Coach mode, a team with the older veteran QB has opportunity to improve. Hey, listen, that would have been great in my Giants uh, franchise with Eli Manning and Daniel Jones, but up oh, too late. Already missed that one. Just added. It. It's <laughs> already started. If you guys haven't already, make sure you check out the Giant franchise uh, series, New York Giants Rebuild. It's really, um, I really enjoyed doing it. And I think, uh, and people, people who watched it, they really like it. So if you haven't, make sure you check that out on the channel. Presentation updates. Major one. Fix the issue preventing the kick meter from appearing in late games. Thank you. Thank you. We've we've had two games decide affected by this, where you would try to kick in the fourth quarter or overtime. There will be no kick meter, ice to no ice. Didn't make a difference, and we two people lost. We had one tie and one person actually lost the game because of that. They were in field goal range, no kick meter, missed it. Other person came down, scored, won the game. Other way, uh, same thing, but with a tie ended in a tie because of that. Commentary updates. X Factor loading screen and database updates. Um, let's see. Coach Cam issue causing players to appear incorrect helmet. Oh yeah, that's that's been that they has been going around for a while. Fix the issue sometimes causing sideline props to disappear in specific cutscenes. And this is wow, date and look at the gameplay. Look at the gameplay updates. These are a ton of gameplay updates. Uh, quality life improvements. Um, it does not drastically alter the balance of the running game at a competitive level. They're actively testing significant tuna set that will bring more viable defensive counters against the run game in an upcoming title update and a targeted release that will give competitors time to adjust game plans before the next MTS event. So does this mean, is this just going to be on comp? Were they going to, because a lot of competitive players have been upset about the run game. 
I again I play on all Madden um, and simulation, so the run game is still it's tough. It's tough to stop the run, but it's not ridiculous like it is in Mutt and competitive, where his guys literally go whole games without passing. So I, I think the run game is a little bit overpowered, um, but I don't think you know as I've sat down and I've um, found defenses to, to limit and stop the run. It's it hasn't been crazy for me. You know I think I may be giving up maybe 100 yard rusher in the last couple of weeks just after I've uh, kind of figured out how to stop the run. If you guys want a video, some tips on stopping the run, let me know. I can do that as well. Let me know in the comments. So multiple improvements, sideline uh, boundary catch rulings, tuning to improve pass leads abilities when throwing the drag crossing routes. That is so annoying overthrowing a drag or crossing route there tuning to improve the ball off the ground for users picking the ball off the ground for user controlled players um added functionality to tackle supreme with secure tackling allowing them to prevent broken tackle resulting from a ball carry special move in addition to existing functionality prevents broken conservative and dive tackles tuning to decrease the the frequency of face mask penalties i know a lot of people were kind of um pissed off about that one and improved catch animation to reduce specific cases of receivers failing to trigger a catch animation. I've seen that the other day. My receiver got hit in the back of the head with a pass after I hit the catch button. Um, <laughs> so uh, back foot and accurate passes when trying to use pass leading toward the court QB. Why would you? Oh, yeah. So back pass lead. Got it. Um, tuning to reduce wind speeds with stadiums with retractable domes and competitive style. Reduce successful hit stick by low rated players versus scrambling. QBs. This will only prevent his sticks versus QBs from being 100% successful in cases where the defender has really low hit power rating. So that's good to you know kind of tune that out, tune that up. Um, so they got a bunch of bunch of stuff in here. So playbook updates. Update the Panthers defensive book from 3-4 to base 4-3 to base 3-4. An issue preventing the QB from handing the ball off on RPO counter plays. Preventing a snap, snap while spamming the reset play button. Fix the issue causing a quarterback to drop back sideways on QB spike plays. Uh, so jet sweep fix, bad pitch we're using motion on some reverse, and coach cam. So what do you guys think about, about the Visa playbook? So it was updated from 3-4, from base 4-3 to base 4-3 to base 3-4. Do you guys feel that, I mean, what if someone liked the old book? Uh, now if things were just added in that's fine but you know if you wanted to what if you wanted you know if you somebody who used the old Panthers playbook and it was updated is there any way to go back and you want to use the original one but they just added to it and didn't take anything out then that's fine but I'm just curious about that when you start updating playbooks and change them significantly you know what's one way that they were people who are a fan of the original playbook how would that affect them so ultimate team updates oh the one line still not gonna read it uh, Superstar KO added to the Dot City playbook and PC updates. Several PC updates here. So that is it. That is a big update and a lot of it. I can say a large portion of it is franchise. And that is really good to see. And I love that they're going to build upon the scenario engine. Because that's what that's one thing to keep the game fresh, interesting, new, like cool scenarios like that. You know, win one for the veteran. Like be creative about it. Don't just be like, Hey, catch five passes and get 50 yards and you'll get this boat. Like, make it interesting. Like, make, you know, like creative ones. You know, I can't even really think of one off the spot. You know, maybe like have Greg Williams. They'd be like, knock this guy out unconscious or something. Like, <laughs> take out this guy's kneecap. Get plus 2,000 XP. No, no, I'm not sure they would do anything like that. But just different ones that make it interesting or um, that make the game just make you try something different in a different way, you know, or like um, run an X amount of, with this quarterback, run an X amount of formations or plays or call a certain amount of audibles or there's something a little bit different besides just like get yards, get sacks, get interceptions, get this, like just something makes, you know, just kind of make you play the game a little bit differently. I think that that's a creative way to, to look at it. So that is it for um, this title update. It's a really, really big one. Uh, like I said, I'm going to come back. I'm going to have the player likeness another player likeness video for you guys detailing all the updates for the player likeness from our player likeness crews out there as well as maybe an equipment update so hopefully you guys enjoyed this one i'll catch you next one make sure you like subscribe turn notifications on so you don't miss the next Madden 20 video here at sgo it's the natural i'm out